welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nike Social Status collab that was done on the Dunks in the midsize, and this is known as the Chocolate Milk Free Lunch. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <laughs> to another unboxing and review for you the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions be sure to leave those down below hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat that i don't want you to miss out on as well as check out that join button we've got some amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing merch store so if you're looking to grab some shade items be sure to check on that website after this video is done as mentioned earlier, we're going to be taking a look at this special collaboration that was done with Nike and Social Status. So for those of you who don't know, this is James Whitner's company as well. It's very much related to Alma Miner. This time it is Social Status. So I'm excited to talk about this really special eclectic collaboration. So we're going to start with the overview. Then we're going to talk about this incredible box that it came with, followed by size and fit on the shoe, then styling. Have so much fun styling these. A lot of intricate colors going on, but I think I am excited to wear this in the fall winter season. Then we're going to conclude with how these shoes are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into the overview. Starting with the front of the toe box, you're going to notice that we've got some nice soft velour on here. It's really cool because depending on how it's moved and shifted, it can look kind of white to creamish. It's kind of an eggshell tone color. We've got some leather on the front toe box here, and this is kind of like a burnt brown reddish look to it with that swoosh that's embroidered there in that pearlescent white. As we work our way up to the laces, you'll notice that these are some nice brown rope laces that we've got. If you're not feeling this dark chocolatey brown, we do have an additional lace set that matches the leather in the front of that toe box quite nicely. I do love the vibe of this dark chocolatey look since this is the chocolate milk shoe. On the side panels, you'll notice we've got more leather that matches that lace colorway in the dark chocolate. And underneath, we've got this really cool paper going on for the social status logo. I feel like I have to be very careful though, because it is very delicate. I don't want to rip it. Um, and that is in a green colorway. Underneath, we've got more velour, this time in that just rich, dark, chocolatey colorway. And then on the top, I really love that they use this bright neon orange, which really just pops quite nicely off of that chocolatey brown. Let's take a look at those details before we move on to the side panels. to the side panels we've got more of that velour action going on so again and that kind of eggshell tone then the overlays of that nice leather print going on and we've got ingredients nike sportswear social status milky tpu gel swoosh 
it's really cool like how intricate it is with the verbiage on here um so it basically tells us everything that is on this shoe material wise here on the back of that heel we've got really cool translucent swishes that have this nice kind of hint of pink working our way to the back we've got that pull tab in this nice velour but in a pink colorway as we work our way to the other side panel we've got more underlays of that eggshell velour underneath that translucent pink swoosh as we look on the inside of the shoe, we've got a nice chocolatey brown tone for the insole with the dual logo on the inside for social status and the Nike swoosh. Working our way to the bottom of the shoe, we've got a nice kind of simplistic white cream tone midsole that is finished off with this light kind of sky blue colorway. That'll complete the shoe. Let's take a look at those final details. A look at this incredible box this has to be one of my favorite parts of the shoe so on the front we've got the social status and milk and all natural nike time social status we've got the lift up here on this side sell by fall 2021 and we even have the box contents this literally is bringing me back to my school lunch days so box contents we've got main swoosh eye stays laces main panel vamp quarter foxing work ethic authenticity integrity i love this nike dunk social status whole milk chocolate flavored strawberry flavored wear after opening how funny is that i'm kind of obsessed with all the little pieces of this so for those of you who don't know about like free lunch i actually was one of those students when i was in elementary school that qualified for free lunches so that meant the world to me i honestly don't know what i would have done without that program so this shoe definitely means a lot to me because it does bring me back to my childhood and the fact that i was fortunate enough to have qualified in order to get free lunches since you know mom wasn't making that much money all right so let's go on the inside of here this is the non cool paper but this paper actually has a calendar on it and i remember the school lunch calendar so it's literally just like a normal school calendar so you know what you can expect each day for school lunches and i know you know those days that you don't look forward to and you're like oh man this is the day that we have to eat this i can't remember what my least favorite item was when it came to school lunches but there were definitely days where i was just like really that's what we have today for school lunch so really cool we even have this maze right here so you can play that but another cool part is the actual tray and look at that we've got the spot where the milk goes how funny so one of the most intricate boxes i think that i've ever seen for a collaboration that has been done with nike so james whitner did an impeccable job with really bringing this shoe to life and really giving it just some character. How cool is this? I don't even want to like fold this paper because it is so intricate and detailed. All right, and then one of the other pieces that I guess I didn't show you yet, inside we have this Nike Social Stylus 100% authentic pouch here. And um, yeah, it's really cool. We've got the dual logo on here. So why don't we actually just, you know, open this up so we can see it outside of the plastic. Ah, this is cool. This is actually like a little uh, coin purse. So you can put your lunch money in here. How cool is that? Love this. Wow, the details in this are in 
impeccable. All right, so now let's move on to size and fit and talk about how these fit my foot. So again, I do have high arch narrow feet. So for those of you wondering my size, I am a size seven and a half in men's, which is equivalent to a woman's size nine. So depending on your foot shape and size, if you have flat wider shaped feet, it could decide for a different size that works a better for you. But if you do have a similar foot shape and size to mine, I would recommend sticking true to size on this one. All right, so now let's jump into the styling section. For the first look, I really wanted to style it kind of monochromatically for this fall season. So I decided to wear an all beige look, starting with some simple beige cargo pants that I paired with a cream tank underneath this beige vest that I have. And I feel like the beige monochromatic colorway just really gave life to the sneakers and really made them pop. No worries, swear that happy is growing on trees. Chasing cheap thrills, out for the kill Leaving gold footsteps around me Colors and lines, make me tie die Higher than heaven, I'm in the sky Call me top shelf, carry myself too well I'm walking around the stairway Straight to all my better days Looking through rose-colored glasses at all my mistakes Breaking through the ceiling, I face for the second look, I decided to wear a tan trench coat with a cream long sleeve shirt underneath. And I tucked that into a pair of light denim shorts with a nice brown belt. And I feel like, again, just the nice cream and beige and tan tones really just play quite nicely, specifically with this eggshell colorway, as well as the brown hues in this shoe. Baby, watch me come alive, come alive. Strike like diamond in my lungs, can't fight. For the last and final look, I decided to bring some pink into this look because I love the pink color schemes that we've got going on throughout the shoe. I wore a pink button down shirt and I tucked that into some nice mauve leggings and I wrapped around my waist just a simplistic blue crew neck sweatshirt. Misery's gone, heart is turned on neon. I'm twisting around the stairway straight to all my better days. Looking through rose colored glasses at all my mistakes. Breaking through the ceiling, I'm face. Baby, watch me come alive, come alive. Strike like dying. down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you sell these shoes So 
Now let's conclude with the resale on these shoes and talk about how much they retail for. So these retailed for $130 and depending on which size you are, these are going to between $200 and $300, but on the higher end, you will find some of these shoes going on the resale market for $400. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much again for tuning in. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions you may have down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat that you're not going to want to miss out on. As well as check out that join button because we do have some amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all on the next episode.